Every hepatitis B patient should tested hepatitis D. Hepatitis D virus, HDV, is a small satellite virus of hepatitis B virus, HBV, requiring HBV infection to complete its life cycle. As per WHO, hepatitis D virus, HDV, affects globally nearly 5% of people who have a chronic infection with hepatitis B virus, HBV. Who are at risks? Populations that are more likely to have HBV and HDV co-infection include Indigenous populations, recipients of hemodialysis, people who inject drugs, sex with any HBV or co-infected patients, donate or received of blood. However, the number of HDV infections has decreased since the 1980s, due mainly to a successful global HBV vaccination program worldwide. What happened if someone infected with HBV and HDV infection? The combination of HDV and HBV infection is considered the most severe form of chronic viral hepatitis due to more rapid progression towards liver-related death and hepatocellular carcinoma. How to prevent HDV infection? Hepatitis D infection can be prevented by hepatitis B vaccination or immunization, but treatment success rates are low. How someone infected with HDV? HDV can infect to HBV infected person only. That means a person already chronically infected with HBV. Hepatitis D infection cannot occur in the absence of hepatitis B virus. HDV HBV co infection is considered the most severe form of chronic viral hepatitis due to more rapid progression towards hepatocellular carcinoma and liver related death. As per WHO report, HDV co infection could explain about 1 in 5 cases of liver disease and liver cancer in people with HBV infection. Where HBV plus HDV co-infection found more in the world? HDV infection including Mongolia, the Republic of Moldova, Russia, Southeast Asia, and countries in Western and Central Africa. The roots of HDV transmission, like HBV, occur through broken skin, via injection, tattooing etc or through contact with infected blood or blood products. HDV infection can be transmitted to child. Transmission from mother to child is possible but rare. Vaccination against HBV prevents HDV co-infection and hence expansion of childhood HBV immunization programs has resulted in a decline in hepatitis D incidence worldwide. What is the structure of HDV virus? HDV is characterized by a positive single-stranded circular RNA genome of around 1700 nucleotides size. Interestingly, HDV RNA genome is predicted to have around 74% of paired bases giving it a rod-like structure. It encodes only one protein, the delta antigen HDAG expressed in two forms. 1. The small form, SHDAG, and 2. The large form, LHDAG. 3. Both forms of HDAG have no enzymatic function and are associated with the HDV genome forming a ribonucleoprotein. Is there any treatments available for HDV infection? Current treatment is based on pegylated interferon alpha which is rarely controls HDV infection. The development of advanced novel antiviral strategies based on host targeting agents has shown promising results in phase 1, 2 clinical trials. Precautions to avoid HDV infection. 
HBV vaccination is the only method to prevent HDV infection. Otherwise, there is any other treatment available as of now. If you are suffering from HBV plus HDV co-infection, please share in the comment box. We will help you how to take care of the treatment for HDV infection. If you like this video, please like and share this video more and more. Please support our channel. Thanks for watching Great Wisdom Discover. We will meet you with new update in the next video. Thanks for watching Health Wisdom.